Go to AmericaEast.com for all the stories, stats, schedules, and more for all the teams in the America East Conference. While you're there, check out the men's and women's hoop blogs, keeping you up to date on the latest happenings in America East men's and women's basketball. It's all at AmericaEast.com. For the first time, Albany is hosting the first three days of the America East Championship, but it won't be the first time an America East tournament game took place in Albany. Back in 2006, the Great Danes hosted the championship game against Vermont. U Albany won that game, earning their first America East Championship and their first of two trips to the NCAA tournament. Here's U Albany head coach Will Brown on the advantages of hosting the championship and what should be an ultra competitive three days. I think the fact that we're hosting it uh, is tremendous for our university, for our basketball program, and for the community. This is a great uh, basketball area. Centrally located, I, I think uh, all the teams will, will travel well. Uh, and there's a lot to do in the Albany area besides just this basketball tournament, so people can make a long weekend out of this. But, you know, from our standpoint, uh, I tell our guys, whether we have a veteran team, a young team, in conference play, any conference in America, if you're going to be good, you have to win games at home, steal games on the road. If you can go 8 0 at home, 4 and 4 on the road you have a chance to win a conference regular season championship. But for us, uh, we have, the crowd needs to feed off our energy. We can't rely on them. We can't feed off their energy. So I told our team, if we create the energy uh, every time we're in the CEFQ and the crowd feeds off us, this is going to be a difficult place to win. And, and people know, uh, when we play at home, when school's in session, we have great crowds, we play well in the CEFQ. I think whoever hosts the tournament does have a huge advantage. You're sleeping in your own bed, you're playing in front of your own fans, you're on your own court. So uh, it would be foolish of me to say that I don't think we have an advantage by playing at home, but we need to embrace that as a program and run with it. The 8-9 game, hopefully we're not playing in that game, but but the 8-9 game is going to be brutal. It's going to be a battle. And whoever wins that game, I'm not so sure the number one seed is going to be happy. I think the only advantage they're going to have is that the 8-9 game was played the night before. Um, I don't think it matters what seed you have. Uh, the only good thing is if you win the regular season title, you're guaranteed at least to go to the NIT. And I think that's huge for any team that can do that. But if you're not the number one seed, two through nine, um, it's all about matchups. It's not about records. You know, our goal is to try to win the America East regular season uh, championship. Uh, I think the team that does that, you've got to pat them on the back because there's a lot of parity in this league. Uh, I think if we can improve our focus and our play on the road, I, I think we can do it this year. We just don't have a lot of room for error right now because we have such a young and inexperienced backcourt, I think. We might be a year away from being a team that can win the regular season uh, over a 16 game period, but I do think a three game, uh, a three day tournament, one weekend here in Albany, I think we are good enough and talented enough to win the America East Conference tournament. Uh, I hope we're good enough to win the America East Conference regular season, but I, I do think we might be a year away right now. Still to come, newcomers have made big impacts all throughout the league. A look at those players and how it's come together for their teams is next on America East on Campus.